This is a lesson on using models to multiply. Models is another word for pictures. So let's start with the, um, a problem. We're going to look at how to do this through using an example. So um, here's our problem. There are 36 trees in each row in the new park. There are four rows. How many trees have been planted? Now, we need to think about this for a second so we know that there are four rows of trees and in each one of those rows there are 36 trees. So there are two methods that we can use to help us solve this problem. I'll show you both. <clears throat> so the first method um, we are familiar with these is base 10 blocks. Now just in case you forgot, um, the single one is just worth one and then the stick or the rod is worth 10. And you can see in this one, if you count, there will be 10 blocks. Okay, so um, when you're drawing, you could just draw a box and then um, just draw a, a skinny rectangle for the tens. <clears throat> okay, so to show 36 uh, times 4, right, because we have 36 trees at, in each row and there are four rows, then we look at the rows, so we have um, down here, we're going to make uh, four rows here, one, two, three, four. Now each one of these little squares um, would equal one tree in this case. So <clears throat> um, in each row, we need to have 36, 36, right? Because we have four down and 36 across. Now to show 36, we would go 10, 20, 30, so three tens, and then 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. So we would show six ones. <clears throat> okay, so each row will have 36 cubes in there, three tens and six ones. So you can see that there are um, four rows of that, one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, continuing on. Now, once we draw our picture, that's the easier part. <clears throat> now we need to do the math. So what we can do is, um, rather than counting up each one of the squares, which you could certainly do if you, if you needed to, um, but you could also use multiplication to help you solve faster. So once you've drawn out your model um, of the base 10 blocks, then you would multiply <clears throat> the tens by how many rows there are and the ones by how many rows there are. So it's sort of like going um, the side here times the top here. So it's like going one, two, three, four times one, two, three. <clears throat> now this isn't just three though, this is 30. So four times 30 here and do the same thing with the ones. There's one, two, three, four down and one, two, three, four, five, six across. So this would be four times six. Okay, so over here we have four times three. Four times three is 12. And then we scoot that zero up against um, the 12 at the end here to make 120. And then over here we've got four times six is a little easier. That's 24. Okay, so we know that this group of tens here is 120, 120, and this group of ones here is 24. Okay, so 24 and 120, we do uh, what the logical thing would be to is add these two numbers. So we'll want to add the 120 plus the 24, and so we get 100, 144 as our total. So that means that there are 144 of these little squares. Um, we could also say that 4 times 36 equals 144. Okay, and I know that it would be this equation because I have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 rows, and I have uh, the 10, 20, 30, and then 6, 36 across. <clears throat> okay, and then I could answer with uh, a sentence. There has been a total of 144 trees planted in the park. Now, since the, the next answer has the same, I didn't do another sentence, but you would for any problem. But this is how you would do the next method, is paper grid array. 
Okay, so in this um, method, it's very similar to the one above. So you're still doing the squares, um, but in like the individual squares across and down. So there's still four over here and 36 across here. But instead of doing like sticks and dots or whatever, rectangles and squares, um, you're just going to do larger rectangles and use the, the squares on your paper to help you. So um, to show the 4 times 36 in this case, we will make all of our rectangles worth 4 down, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we'll still chunk them into 10s because those are easy to count. Okay, so um, we would draw a rectangle that's 4 down and 10 across, and then we close it up. And we know that that's 10, and we need to get to 36 eventually, so that's not enough. So we do another 10, and we go 10 across and 4 down again. Now we know that 10 plus 10 is 20, and that's not quite 36. So we do another 10, 4 down, 10 across. And then that, that gets us to 30, which is showing right here. Now I know that 40 is too big, so I can't do another 10. So I just do the number of 1s that are left over, which is 6 in the number 36. So I go 6 across and 4 down this time. Now I shaded the middle in just to show... Uh, you, um, I guess to contrast what it would look like. You don't have to fill that in though. Just make sure your lines are dark enough on your grid paper that you can see it easily. Okay. Now that you have um, your drawing, your calculations are going to be the same as um, above. So you'll notice that you had 4 times 30 up here and 4 times 6 to the side. And over here you have 4 rows of 30, or 4 times 30, and 4 rows of 6, or 4 times 6. So you multiply um, the tens by, by this number, and then you multiply the ones by that number, by the side number. And then, you guessed it, we add them together. Okay, so again, we have the 120, because 4 times 30 is 120. So that means all of these squares all added up. If I was to um, count them individually, there'd be 120. Um, and then there'd be 24 in here. So 120 plus the 24 in there would be 144. So again, we get that there are 144 trees planted in the park. Now it's time for some examples. So um, there are two. There's one that asks you to use the base 10 blocks to solve and one that asks you to use grid paper and draw an array. Um, this is just to practice both of them. When you're solving um, equations, most of the time it'll let you just choose what, what strategy works for you, but um, to start you're going to practice them both. Okay, so pause the video and try both of these in the way that we practiced above and then play the video to see if you got it correct. Okay, so um, let's try this first one. <clears throat> We've got 51 times 3. So that means that we are going to have um, 51 across, and it's not going to work, I guess. Oh, there we go. Got it fixed. So um, here's a 10. And since I'm on the computer, I'm going to use that to my advantage. Oops, I guess not. Um, <clears throat> and there is a 20, <clears throat> so there was 20, uh, 30, 40, 50, and then 1 for the 1. So we've got um, 10, 20, 30, 40, 51. So that's a cross, that's the big number. And then the small number tells me how many of these I need. And it, in this case, I need 3. So we've got 1, 2 and three. <clears throat> so there's my base 10 blocks to uh, help me multiply. Now what I will use is uh, my multiplication scales to help me from here. So I know that I have three and then I have one, two, three, four, five of these and in fact it means 50 because it's tens. 
So I'm just focusing on these right now. Ooh, that's quite the line. <clears throat> so 3 times 50. 3 times 5 is 15. And then I scoot this 0 up next to the, the 15 to make it 150. <clears throat> And then this little, this little row here, I'm sure you could figure it out without the e equations, but we'll do it just for the sake of showing how to do it. Um, we would go 3, and then there's 1. So 3 times 1, and that equals 3. Then we add these together. We get 150 plus 3 equals 153. So that means, oops, <clears throat> that means that 51 times 3 is 153. Now you had to draw an array on grid paper to solve this one. <clears throat> so I will cheat again here. So um, this one says 6 times 26. So I'm going to draw 10 across. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 squares. And I need to go 6 down because that's my um, smaller number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there is 6. Okay, right, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 across. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 down. Now, since I have 26, that means that I'm going to need to do another one of these because currently I have 10 across, I need 26 across. So um, I will make another one of these, go 10 across again and 6 down. And now if I make a third one of these big squares of 10, that would give me 30, but that's too many because I need 26. So I need to uh, make my rectangle a little bit smaller, and it needs to go just 6 across. So here is 6 across, so it turns into a square. Okay, so that's my drawing on grid paper. And <clears throat> now I do the same thing as up above, but now this is on a different question. Um, I multiply these ones, and I multiply this one both by 6 because that's how many are down. This is 6 right here. Okay, so across up here I have 10 here, 10 here, and 6 here. So that makes my 10s into 20 and that makes my 6 into 6. So 6 times 2 is 12. Put my 0 on the end. 6 times 6 is 36. No zero necessary. And then I add these together. So 120 plus 36. You might want to write larger numbers one on top of the other. If you can't do it in your head. Go well, 6 times 0 is 0. 2 times 3 is 5. And, or not times, sorry. All of those plus. 6 plus 0 is 6. 2 plus 3 is 5. And 1 plus nothing is 1. And my answer is 156. So to multiply 120 or er, 6 times 26 is 156. All right, so um, your assignment then is page 286 to 287, number 1 to 4, 6 and 10. Best of luck.